We wanted to share with you a haying project we did. We don't feed hay to our livestock at, here at Hamilton Dave Outpost except for some horses that we have. And we was wanting to put up some really high quality grass hay that uh, didn't have any weed seed in it. So we took this field out of seed production this year. And this was a field of big blue stem. And we hayed it just last week. You can already see it growing back a little bit. The impressive thing about it growing back a little bit already Within six days of haying it, starting to grow back, and we're in a moderate level of drought here uh, this year. Been very low rainfall, a lot of early hot temperatures. I'm six foot five, six foot five inches tall, and that grass is taller than me. Now the seed bolts for quality, you know, we want to want to cut it when it's down here, so the grass blades would have been about this high back on July 4th. This is what we hayed. This is what it looked like before we cut it. This is what it looks like after we cut it. This is also make great hay for your li other livestock, cattle, sheep, goats, whatever you have. With the weather we've had this year, we still made 5,600 pounds of dry hay per acre. And that was without any fertilizer. Now we don't hay this field every year. If we did, we would need to do a soil test and add some fertility back but this field hasn't been hayed for 12 years or fertilized for 12 years. Before this, that this was somebody's hay field, fescue hay field before I bought it. And we got 5,600 pounds of quality hay off this. Uh, a lot of our neighbors this year hay in this spring, even on fertilized fescue, got nearly half of that. We just didn't have a very good growing season early. It was really cool and then it got really hot and fescue didn't do much. Uh, a lot of people planted annuals like sedan this year and sedan the rain just haven't hit right to make much sedan work. We're dry enough here that uh, people that was growing corn for grain are now cutting it for silage. So it, it's been a really dry year but it hasn't affected these warm seasons with their deep roots and their ability to take in nitrogen. It just hasn't affected them. We cut this about July 4th would be a great time. We was a little later than that this year, but you know, July 4th, it's typically hot. It's typically dry. It's great weather for making hay. In our area, a lot of the fescue hay gets put up way after the quality's gone, just because you can't find that open week to get it mowed down and put up without rain. This has been Colt Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. And this was just want to share a little bit of a hay project we was doing with you. Check out our other videos online and information on our website.